Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. This is a very light and natural makeup look that I've been wearing most days in lockdown when I just want to feel a little bit more presentable. This is sort of what I like to call my no makeup makeup. So it's very minimal and very quick and easy to do. Just a few simple affordable products. I'm also going to show you in this video how I do my super easy low bun that I've pretty much been wearing every day as well. I'm going to show you how I stick down all my flyaway hairs and get this looking nice and neat as well. So if you would like to see what products I use and how I achieve this very simple makeup, then keep watching. So here I am, fresh faced. I hope that this angle and lighting and everything is okay for you to see clearly what I'm doing. I have tanned, I tanned my skin last night and I also tanned my face so you can sort of see I've got a little bit of colour. I do have a few breakouts here. This is just like a scar from a previous breakout but I was going to wait to film this video for when I had clear skin but that doesn't happen very often so I thought let's just do it. Um, bear with me on these little breakouts here. They're still quite sore um, so I'm going to be really careful when I'm applying my makeup. But I've done my skincare and I've put my primer on. I actually use a bit of skincare as a primer. I use this here. This is the Ordinary Azeliac Acid. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, who knows. I don't think there's any benefit um, of it keeping my makeup on longer but I do find that it smooths my skin out so much. It creates such a nice, even base for my makeup to go on. Um, it, yeah, it's just really smoothing and it evens out the texture of my skin, which is good when I have blemishes because it just makes everything less bumpy and just everything more smooth. I'm then gonna use two products on my face as like a base because this is gonna be quite a light makeup, nothing too heavy, nothing too drastic. Um, I'm using the L'Oreal Bourjois Nudista and it's like a awakening tinted moisturizer. Um, I don't know if it comes in shades. Yes, it does. This is medium light. Um, ideally, I probably would have got a darker color. I'm not sure why I went for medium light, um, but I just pop a little bit of this on the back of my hand, just about that much. And then I am like to mix that with, at the moment, my foundation that I'm using is the L'Oreal True Match. And I use this in shade Golden Sun and I just literally put one pump of this on the back of my hand. As you can see the colour difference there, it's quite massive but um, I'm just going to mix those two together and just put a little bit on my face. Um, mainly just focusing around my chin and my problem area because my cheeks and my forehead are really clear at the moment so I don't want to add too much product to those areas. But the brush that I'm using is a brush that I always use. This is my Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques and I love it. it. just makes everything go on so evenly. I recently cleaned all my makeup brushes so I'm really feeling the benefit of doing that. I feel like everything is going on so much better. I always, always, always bring my foundation down to my neck. As you can see that is just a really, really light base. I've sort of covered up these blemishes a little bit but I don't want to put too much product on them as they're a little bit sore at the moment but I just feel like that's light enough it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing much and it doesn't look like I'm wearing much either so the next thing I'm going to do is just conceal the giant bags that I have under my eyes and I'm going to use my favourite concealer and this is the Rimmel London Lasting Radiance Concealer and I wear this in the lighter shade which is called Ivory this one is running out a little bit I'll see if I can get the last bit out so I just like to make a really deep V underneath my eyes that bring the concealer down really far just to make sure that all the darkness is covered. Now as you can see that is quite a lot of product but I do have very dark circles under my eyes and because I've got a lighter base on I feel like I can get away with a heavier concealer. Now I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender. This is also from Real Techniques and I just find that the concealer goes on better if I really press it into the skin instead of sort of blending it. I find if I push downwards with the beauty blender it really gets into all the creases under my eyes. Now 
Now once that is all blended, I just take my beauty blender and just rub it gently over my eyelids just to create a little base on them. Because this is a really light makeup, I'm not gonna use much setting powder for underneath my eyes. Normally I would set, like, and probably bake the whole thing, but I want to keep things light and not too cakey on my face today. So I'm just gonna use this Real Techniques brush, which is sort of like a stippling brush. And what is left of my Rimmel powder? This is the, I can't even read what it is, clear something. But it's just a very light powder and um, I've hardly got any left but you don't need much at all. I'm just going to dab it right underneath my eye line to fill in any of those creases. That is all I'm going to do, just the smallest amount. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now normally I would fill in my whole eyebrow um, but recently I've sort of been letting them grow and as you can see they are quite bushy. So I'm just going to put some gel through them and perk them up a little bit. So I'm just going to grab a spoolie and brush through them. And now I'm going to use this brow gel. Now this is the BBB London brow gel, brow build gel it's called. And it's just in a really, really nice colour. It's got a little spoolie with it. So I just brush through my brows with that. Now as you can see it's gone a little bit cakey at the front so I just grab my spoolie again and just brush that out. Now to keep the hairs in place, I just like to use this Benefit product. So this is just a conditioning primer and it has under the lid just some like little bristles and it's just a little clear gel that comes up through the top that you can brush through the hairs. to put this on roughly mainly in the inner corner of my brows because that's where I like them to be the most fluffy and then I take the spoolie and just brush them into the exact shape that I want so I tend to go quite fluffy up the top here and then as we reach the arch a little bit straighter I find that this brow is in so much better shape than the other one So that is the brows done, just nice and natural and fluffy. So I don't like to do anything too drastic with my eyes, just nice and simple and natural. I'm just going to take my bronzer, which at the moment is the Hoola by Benefit bronzer, and I'm just going to take this fluffy brush, which is also by Real Techniques, I think all my brushes are by Real Techniques, and just put a tiny little bit in the corner of my eyelids just to give it a little bit of colour. I'm going to do a little bit of mascara. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I'm still using this tiny little one um, because I had lash extensions for quite a long time. Obviously, they've all come off now and I'm trying to let my natural lashes grow a little bit. They're naturally quite short and stubby anyway, so I'm used to that. I was never lucky enough to have naturally long lashes, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. Um, this is my favourite mascara at the moment. It doesn't transfer onto anything and it's just really easy to go on nice and thin and not clumpy.
So obviously I don't have the best natural lashes, but I like to wear a little bit of mascara just so my eyes aren't completely bald. I'm then gonna give myself a little bit of color and use the Hoola bronzer again on this random little blusher brush and just do a little bit of color on my cheekbones and on my jawline as well. And a tiny little bit on my forehead just to liven up my face a little bit more. I'm then gonna actually do a little bit of highlight. I don't really contour my face or anything when I'm just at home um, and I just want a light makeup, but I do feel like because this is light and dewy that a bit of highlight is quite nice to add. So I'm just gonna use this Morphe one on a Real Techniques Duo Fibre Contour Brush and just place a little bit on the top of my cheekbones. I just feel like that adds a little bit more depth to my face. I'm now just gonna finish off with a little bit of lip gloss, nothing major, no lip liner or anything like that. This is just a clear gloss. This is from Nabien, I presume that's how you say it. I might be completely butchering all these pronunciations, but this is a lip augmentation gloss. Um, so it sort of makes your lips tingle a little bit and plumps them up as well. But I just feel like it's quite nice to wear a clear gloss. Obviously you can put this over any lipstick as well when you're going out, but I just quite like to wear it on its own. Also, if you get lipstick on this and then put it back in the tube, then the whole thing is gonna go the color of the lipstick because I've done that before. Um, so I just like to keep it clear, but it just adds a nice little bit of sparkle and makes my lips look a little bit more plump. So that is my makeup finished, just nice and light and natural for a day at home. I'm now gonna show you how I do my low bun and how I keep all my hairs slick in place. Um, I've just roughly tied it up in a scrunchie now, so let me take this out. I washed my hair this morning and just rough dried it, so it's not had anything done to it, it's hardly got any product in it at all. Um, I just put a little bit of hair oil through the ends when I was drying it, um, but my natural hair is a little bit frizzy and a little bit wavy, so it's not completely straight. It doesn't do exactly what I want it to, um, but I'm just gonna give it a nice brush like this, and then I'm gonna tie it up in a ponytail in the middle of the back of my head. I don't have thin hair, but my hair is not massively thick either. I just have a lot of it, so sometimes with a normal hairband, it can be quite difficult to get my hair up and to stay and, and I always feel a lot of tension. So I have these bubbles, which I actually got in Budapest. And as you can see, they're quite thick um, and they're not like the normal hair bubbles that you might buy at somewhere like Primark. Um, and I just find they hold in my hair so much better, especially when I'm doing a hairstyle like this. So I'm just gathering all the hair with my brush so it's as smooth as it can be. I don't worry too much at this stage though if there are a few lumps and bumps because I can always sort that out afterwards. So just make sure everything is as smooth and as slicked down as it can be and then just secure it in place. What I like to do then is just put it straight into the bun and this is the simplest bit. As you can see, my hair is quite long and as I said, I've got quite a lot of it. So sometimes the bun can look a little bit big on my head, but I just roll with it. So I just twist up the hair and then literally just wrap it round the bubble that is already there and just tuck the end bit in at the bottom slightly underneath. I then get my second hair bubble, which is a nice thick one like the first one, and then just secure it in place. It's literally that simple. And you can play around with it. Sometimes I do it and it doesn't look right, so I have to do it a second or a third time, but that looks okay. As you can see, I've got a few flyaway bits. I have these sort of baby hairs that stick out here. And as the day goes on, I have a few other flyaways that pop out as well and when I'm at home just working or whatever I like to have my hair slicked back completely off my face not in the way at all so what I use is a hair oil now this is the hair oil that I'm using at the moment and it's from Gizu this was kindly gifted to me but the one that I used before that was this one just got to be super cheap hair oil I think I got this from Tesco's for probably like three pounds or something and it did the job perfectly but I just find if I put hair oil on it makes my hair look less 
greasy and more of like a wet look because it gives it that nice glossy shine so I just literally grease down all the flyaways with the hair oil a few people have asked me how I get my hair not looking greasy and I think it does look greasy like maybe not greasy maybe more wet I just think that there's no way you can grease down all your hairs it's going to stay in place without it looking slightly greasy now you'll notice I have a couple of bits of hair that just don't stick and what I do to fix this is I will get my hairspray this is the one that I use again just a super cheap one hold the hair in place and then just give it a little spray to hold it in place sort of like a glue um, and any other bits that I have like there's a couple at the front here I'll just spray directly onto that area and then smooth it down I then also go along with the brush and just get all my hairs neatly in place another little trick that I do as well that sometimes is I grab a spoolie and I just go through my baby hairs here and I find that this really helps to stick them all in place after I've hairsprayed or if I find that it's not working sometimes I'll just put a little bit of hairspray on the spoolie and then it really sort of glues down the hair and makes everything look a lot neater. So unfortunately there's not really much I can do about the baby hairs that gather at the nape of my neck. Sometimes I pin them in place but I just sort of have to put up with that. But that is how I keep my flyaways at the top of my head in place and it seems to work well. This will last me most of the day. Sometimes I have to go over it with a little bit more hairspray but generally speaking unless it's majorly windy then this seems to stay in place. I also use the same technique when I'm doing a low bun with a middle parting, but when I am doing that, I also make sure to straighten the front of my hair here so that it sits nice and neatly. But yeah, the same process generally applies for sticking down any flyaway hairs. So that is my very quick, simple, natural get ready with me and what I've been wearing most days in lockdown. It's very easy to do, very quick, and it just makes me feel a little bit more put together, especially if I'm filming or taking pictures and I just want a light makeup, but I also want to look presentable and I want to have something on my face. I find that this works really, really well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. All products will be linked in the description box below. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon with another video.